Hey guys, it's 18 here, and today I'm going to be playing some Cardfight Vanguard Zero. I'm really looking forward to this. I played this game quite a lot and my deck's pretty decent. I'm not playing the clan I particularly wanted to play at the start of the game, and I'm building the rest of the decks, but I'm playing the clan called Kagero, and it's basically dragons and dragon knights, and they're really cool. And um, I'll try and explain a little bit of the rules as I go along, but I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll probably make a little introductory video for you guys who are new to Vanguard soon, and I thought this would be a fun little side series, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy Let's Plays, I'd really appreciate it, and considering it's a new kind of content for me, it would really be awesome if you guys enjoy it. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a lovely day, and let's start playing, shall we? Okay, so this is my favourite character, she's called Misaki Tokura. But yeah, let's go to the PvP area, and we'll do some online battles to try and rank up. Ranking up in this game basically um, gives you a load of rewards and stuff when the season ends. And um, yeah, I'm playing Toshiki Kai. He's the person who plays Kagero. So yeah, let's get into this. At the moment, I kind of lose every now and again, and it's not a huge deal, but I win more than I lose most of the time anyway, so hopefully I can win. So I'm against another Kagero player, and his quotation is no. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> you can choose what your profile says when you start a match, which is pretty cool. So I drew Dragonic Overlord. That's a good one. So in Vanguard, each card has a power and a grade, and each turn you make your Vanguard stronger, and then you can call stronger. rearguards that are equal or lower than the grade of your Vanguard. Stand We're playing the same starting Vanguard, so you start at zero and then get to grade three, which is normally the highest grade you can get to. But it's basically just a huge card fight, which is cool. I'm just going to turn the audio down a little bit for me. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. This should be really fun. So he rode um, Gojo. Which, our decks will be pretty similar to be honest, I think. But I'm going to ride Follower Rias. So yeah. I've got a drink with me today. I'm recording this after my last reaction video. But yeah, basically the person who goes first can't attack in Vanguard. And because I went second, I can attack him first. So I'll attack. Because my power is equal or greater than his Vanguard's, the, he'll get dealt a damage. His vanguard can't be destroyed, but if you take 6 damage, you lose the game, and all of your other units can be destroyed. So it's basically a game where you have to try and beat your opponent faster than they beat you. But um, there's a few more different things in this game. There's a thing called triggers, which gives you power and different effects. So if you download the game, you'll kind of understand a bit more about it. But yeah, I guess you guys can just watch and maybe have fun seeing me try and beat this guy. Attack! Okay, he did something smart. He destroyed my starter, Vanguard, which should have gave me an extra card. Which is bad for me. So he's got the advantage right now. Because he got to use his when I didn't. So now it's my turn again. I'm going to get to ride up to the next grade. So I'm going to ride this QE called Wotas. He's a Cray Elemental. He can be used in any deck. So I'm going to call these grade twos and in this game specifically they changed the rules slightly so grade twos can block attacks so that's pretty cool because normally in vanguard you guard with cards in your hand but this game's a little different as it's a mobile game but it's still really good so there you go i got a trigger on my drive check it's a heal trigger so i if i have equal or more damage than my opponent i get to heal a damage and give a unit 5000 power so that was really good. And he didn't get a trigger, so he didn't get extra power, so I can hit him again with Nahalan. So this is going really well. So he just got a draw trigger, which means he gains the game power and draw an extra card. So that's pretty good. And triggers only use their effects when you check them through attacking or, or um, damage checking. So he rode the grade 3, which stops me using interception units, so my grade 2s won't be able to block attacks for me. Which is pretty rough, but I play the same card in this deck, and it's really good. He used his grade 2 to destroy one of my rear guards of his skill by paying the cost. So he just took all my rear guards out and can hit my vanguard. This person seems pretty good, he knows what he's doing. 
But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this, guys. Make sure to like it if you like these gameplays. So I didn't get a trigger there. So I didn't really get anything out of it. See, I just drew the card he rode. But, um... I think I'm actually going to ride Dragonic Overlord. Because, um... He's got a thousand more power than his Vanguard, so unless he gets a trigger, if he's not boosting, he won't be able to hit my Vanguard. So that's really useful. I'm basically trying to force him to use extra cards in his hand so I can beat him. But yeah, I'm going to call a few units down and hopefully beat him up. So I'll start with this guy, attacking the Zerg Dragon. And now my Overlord's going to hit his Vanguard. Dragonic Overlord's like this character's ace card in the anime. Cardfight Vanguard has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's really, really good. Um, this game's based off the original series, but there's a reboot of the original series now, which is the one they're currently doing. But you can watch the original series online. But you get most of the original series' story through um, this game through the story mode, so... I really recommend playing it. It's a lot of fun. We could add each other as friends as well. I'm talking a lot, sorry. <laughs> so this guy's going to counter attack now. I pushed him to 5 damage, which is really good. So I've got a good advantage right now. But with Vanguard, that can change pretty quickly if you lay your guard down. Okay, so he got another draw trigger, that's good for him. He was going to hit me anyway. Oh no, actually, he needed a trigger to hit me because of Overlord's power. But you can kind of see that um, he's struggling to hit me because my Overlord's got like loads of power. That extra 1,000 powers makes a big difference if he can't like give his Vanguard extra power by boosting with a unit behind it. Grade 1s and zeros can um, boost other units. But yeah, I'm going to call um, Berserk Dragon and do what he did to me earlier and blow up his Rearguard. I destroyed the Grade 2 because it can defend him. The Grade 3 can attack but not defend on his turn. And I'm going to call down Dragon Monk Goku. <laughs> He's called Goku, so that's pretty cool. So I'll attack with my Vanguard first and see what I get. So now, I know he has a perfect guard because he searched one earlier with a starter. And basically, if you're going to take fatal damage in this game, the perfect guards, if they're in your hand, will automatically defend you. So, it's extremely useful. I've got one in my hand right now. Because I was lucky enough to draw one. But yeah, this is going really well. Okay, so I managed to hit him because it did the animation. So unless he gets a heal trigger, he's going to lose. So I won that match. So yay, I won. That went really well for my first match. I didn't want to lose in my first match and make it look like I was bad at the game. That would have been pretty funny though. But yeah, I'll probably do one more match for this video, just to give you guys a taste of Vanguard. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm currently Legend Rank 9, which is pretty high. This is what I've been doing while I've had to stay at home, since the game came out about 9 days ago, I think. Or, no, it came out 10 days ago. Let me know if you guys are familiar with Vanguard. Um, comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll let you know what you need, want to know. I'm not going to do multiple takes because I'm recording this live, so, yeah. <laughs> this person says, may God bless all VP farmers. VP farmers are essentially a thing in this game where you deliberately lose to get points. Because whether you win or lose, you get points. And you can use the points to get rewards. So some people deliberately lose to get rewards faster. But I honestly don't do that. I just try and win, so. I'm not a coward when it comes to battle. I'm a pretty intense android. Oh, I need a drink there. Yeah, I'm against Oracle Think Tank, my favorite clan. And um, they're playing Misaki because she plays it. Like, if I had all the cards, I'd be playing that the um, Oracle Think Tank. However, I really love Kagero at the moment because it's really good. And um, it's grown on me. The game gave me a lot of the cards and I just built the deck. And um, it's going really well, so that's really good. I've been watching a Vanguard YouTuber called Different Fight. I've known him on YouTube for a while now, not personally, but um, I really like his videos. And I also watch Shady Penguin play this game as well. 
So I'm giving those guys a shout out even though they're much bigger than me. Basically, go check them out. I'll leave a link to their channels in the description. As long as as well as the link to the Vanguard official channel. And I just pulled a critical trigger, which means I'm gonna do two damage points instead of one, which is really good. So she got a damage trigger, a sand trigger. I realize I'm talking a lot, I'm just trying to explain stuff to you guys if you're new. But yeah, there's there's quite a lot of little cool things in Vanguard. Anyway, I'm gonna chill out on the talking now and just um commentate. But yeah, I was really lucky and got a critical trigger, so that's pretty good to be honest. So in my hand I've got all the grades I need. And I've got a different I've got the interception blocker, um, Seal Dragon Blockade, and Dragon Monk Goku. Damage check. Okay, so we took one damage there. Let's see what they get. So they didn't get a trigger, but I'm still gonna take a damage, because our attack powers attack and defense powers are equal. Damage check. And Lozenge Magus will go back to the deck for a skill. Lozenge Magus is so cute. She's one of my favorite starters in the whole game. She probably is my favorite starter in the game. I just love her. She's cute and she's really cool and useful. Okay, so it's time to ride to grade two. So I'm gonna ride um, Sutherland. And now, unlike last game, because it didn't get destroyed, I can use Conroe's ability to search anything I want. So I'm going to add a perfect guard to my hand to give me some more defense. Another reason Kagero is doing really good right now is because that effect guarantees you a little bit of defense or to search out any grade one you want. So it's really powerful. Anyway, let's get to attacking them, shall we? Yeah, I understand if you guys are a bit overwhelmed with me talking so much, but um, hopefully you guys are finding this interesting. Okay, so um, she lost Weather Girl Milk. That's kind of good. She's a really good booster for the Vanguard. I played this clan in real life back in the day and throughout Vanguard, so I know how this clan works. So I know how most of the clans work, so it's a good advantage. Because you know what to attack and what not to attack, if that makes sense. What's, what makes Vanguard fun is there's both luck and skill involved in every game, so no game is ever the same. And I personally really like that, it's really fun. So she's using a skill to look at the top card of her deck. Oracle Think Tank essentially um, can predict the future, and you can basically stack your deck to make it more effective with trigger checks. They're like a clan of um, seers and animals. They're fortune towers and seers and uh, maidens with incredible abilities and also statues, which are kind of cool. Oh, my opponent's disconnected. That's not good. Hopefully, um, they don't, um, I don't win by just them DCing. That would be pretty anticlimactic. That's the word I was looking for. Just had another drink there. I've got some Pepsi Max over here as well, just in case, because I just ran out of juice. Gonna bring it over. I'm still waiting for them to um, reconnect, but it looks like I might actually win through them disconnecting. This game gives you like a timer. If you disconnect twice or time out twice, you automatically lose the match, which is a bit rough, but um, it's understandable because we're just sitting here waiting for stuff to happen. If this happens and they disconnect, I'll essentially do another match because um it wasn't complete. But I'll probably keep it in the video. But yeah, I've just um it's nice to talk to you guys and um playing a game is really fun. And I was gonna play this game anyway, so I thought it'd be a good way to make videos and also have fun with you guys. And if I get a lot of time and you guys wanna play. I'll let you guys add me on this game, and maybe we can do some fights on the channel. Like, subscriber fights. That would be really fun. Anyway, they disconnected, so I'm just going to keep going until I win. So, I'm going to ride Goku. 
Mr. Goku. Goku has a really good ability, where if you pull a trigger when you attack, he can destroy a grade 1 or 0 on your opponent's field of your choice. So that's really powerful. So it essentially gives you a way to control the board and get rid of important cards for your opponent. I didn't pull a trigger though that time, so I don't get to destroy an extra card. Okay, so um, I didn't get a trigger, so my other unit's not going to be able to hit, so I'll just end my turn. But from what I can tell, um, I think they've reconnected maybe. And if they haven't, they'll time out again when those two bars go away. And then, um, yeah, they'll lose. But I think a computer takes over if they, um, essentially leave, so. Oh no, it looks like the person we were playing with is back, so that's good. I'm happy to see that, so at least it'll still be a decent fight. Although I have an advantage now because they didn't attack a few times last turn. So they can just directly hit my Vanguard because I have no grade 2s. Let's see what stuff they drive check. Ooh, she got a heal trigger with a saw. Because she had more damage than me, she could recover a damage point. So she's she's making a comeback here, basically. So I'm going to take another damage too. So no trigger for me. That's a little bit of a shame, but oh well. So because she hit me with her vanguard, she can do a skill to draw cards and then get rid of one. So basically try and draw things she needs. I love Oracle Think Tank. They're so cool. Plus, I can pretend to be smarter when I am when I play that deck, <laughs> so that's kind of funny. But yeah, this will probably be the last game for this video because um they didn't disconnect, so it's still a good fight. So yeah. Okay, yeah, the reason I'm not calling these guys is because they're things that can protect me. So I'm gonna probably outlast her if I'm pretty lucky. So I'm trying to move this unit back, and I'm gonna call grade two. That way, um, I have a little bit of defense on the board. So she'll have to go through my grade 2 before hitting me. So there, I got a draw trigger there. That means I can essentially give power to another unit and draw an extra card, which is really good. So now Goku's effect one off because I drew a trigger. And I can destroy her Circle Magus. By the way guys, you don't need to know all these abilities straight away. I'm just explaining what's going on because I know them. That's all. So now my other unit can attack this guy because it's not strong enough to hit the Vanguard. And then my other unit can hit the Vanguard again. So overall, a very successful turn. She keeps getting a stand trigger on her damage checks, but she doesn't really get anything out of it because stand triggers are more effective. Because if it's your turn, you attack and you get a stand trigger, you can restand the unit that's already attacked. And each unit can only attack once per turn unless you get a trigger. So she's pulling those triggers at like a bad time, if that makes sense. She's only getting power, no additional abilities. She really wanted that trigger after my first attack because she would have got extra power and I wouldn't have been able to hit her on the second attack. Okay, so she called um, Blue Scale Deer. So that's cool. Oh no, she has Silent Tom. He's a really good card. Oh, for you. She didn't pull a trigger. That's pretty good for me. To be honest, I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat her next turn. So even if she has ways to get perfect guards, she'll need at least three or two. But I can ride um, this Vanguard to stop her from being able to block me with her grade twos. So I'm essentially going to hit her three times in a row. So... It looks like it's curtains for her. She could pull a heal trigger on a final damage though, which is basically a miracle draw, and it saves you from losing. You can lose because um you deal the last damage and then they heal and then they kill you on the next turn. It's pretty funny. It's a little discouraging, but um it's just part of the game. But it also makes the game fun because if you've been unlucky, you can draw a card which can save you. So it's really cool. So yeah, she just blocked one of my attacks with her perfect guard. She has, that's the exact same effect as these guys have, but Chocolat's the cutest. So anyway, let's go again. 
She's got another one. Whenever it pauses like that, it means she's got a perfect guard, because that's the load. So I got a heal trigger, but it doesn't heal me, because I've got less, more, um, she's got more damage than I do. I managed to hit her, so that's good. Yay, I won! That's awesome. So yeah, I won the match. So that was pretty lucky. And I'm going to rank up as well to Legend 10, I believe. Which is pretty darn good if I do say so myself. That was awesome. So I got 50 gems and a Blaster Blade special art because I'm really high up in the ranks right now. I got like a limited card, which is really cool. But yeah, I think I'm going to stop recording the gameplay now. And I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this longer gameplay video and, and my first... Um, journey into Vanguard for this channel. Make sure to hit the like button and tell me if you enjoy this. I apologize for talking so much. I just wanted to make a video to help people who are new because I know most of you guys are here for my Dragon Ball videos and if you're not into Vanguard or you don't know anything about it, it's nice to know kind of what's going on. So my next gameplay video shouldn't be as talking intensive but um yeah I just want to thank you guys so much if you got this far. Make sure to hit the like button, comment down below other things you want me to react to, play, and any questions you have about Vanguard, I highly recommend playing the game. It's called Cardfight Vanguard Zero, and it'll be in the title of the video, obviously. So just look it up on your phone in the App Store, and I'm sure it'll be there. This is getting to be really long, so I'm going to let you guys go. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. And also, don't forget everyone, subscribe to me, because I'm definitely 18.